Thank you, Madam Speaker. This past Wednesday, the Agriculture Committee actually learned that only 2% of food imported into Canada is actually inspected. But yet 100% of the products that we produce in this country, we send abroad, are indeed inspected. You know, Canadians expected, in fact, believed that all imported food was inspected. The Agriculture Committee now knows that's not true. So to the government, Madam Speaker, what is this government going to do to ensure that Canadian imported food is inspected so that Canadian consumers will feel safe when they feed their families? Madam Speaker, the, the members should know that the CFIA enforces the same rigorous food safety standards on imported food as it does for domestic food. I can give him some examples of what we've done to improve our import system. He should know this if he's on the Ag Committee. Our recent budget includes an additional $100 million over five years to enhance food safety. We've delivered $223 million to the Food Safety Action Plan to improve controls on imported food. We've eliminated the 72-hour notification of inspection to meet imports. We've established an import surveillance team which performed 480 border blitzes. And Madam Speaker, I could go on, but I know my time's running out. The Honourable Member for Welland. Well, Madam Speaker, maybe the parliamentary sector should know that there actually are no CFAA inspectors at the border. CBSA is responsible to do that. They don't know how. But then again, I, I, I look to the hundred. The hundred million dollars is actually was actually for in, exported food, not imported food. The reality, Madam Speaker, is what is happening is we're not testing the product. In fact, we don't require potable water for washed vegetables for, that are imported into this country. So what it is, we need to restore consumers' confidence in the system. Will the government commit today? to ensuring that the CFIA budget is not cut in the next budget rounds, Madam Speaker.